Honourable Judith Collins. Well, not all good things take time, because I won't take much on this one. Um, Mr Speaker, this bill, listening to some of the contributions today, you'd think that this problem only arose um, in the main zeal collapse. Actually, it's been around forever. And um, even when I first started practicing law in 1981, yes, I know I was probably about six at the time, um, <laughs> this was an area that has been a constant problem uh, whenever it comes to the building industry. And it is always because money gets tight whenever there's a, um, any tough issues around funding and developers and builders often have real problems getting funding through traditional sources like banks. So they end up, they used to end up in solicitors nominee companies, then they went to other contributory mortgage forms and mezzanine financing. A lot of those outfits um, actually went broke during the uh, global financial crisis in 2008 to 2009. And so what happened is an awful lot of financing went. It also means during those tough times, uh, people who have signed up to lease buildings or to buy buildings find ways of getting out of them or suddenly decide that they don't want to continue or with um, a small area. So it is a tough time and the people who suffer the most are the subcontractors or as has been referred to today colloquially as the, um, the subbies. These people are the people who have the least ability to be able to get back their money. And no matter what you say and put in contracts, and I certainly have over the years put things in contracts, and the trouble is as soon as you have to go back to that contract, as soon as you look at it, pretty much it's all over, Rover. Um, essentially, you're there because something's not working properly. And it's all very well to moan and complain about um, the fact that companies uh, go into liquidation, they pop up again, people pop up again in them, and they do, and we do now have mechanisms to stop people constantly becoming company directors after they've been in, in charge of companies have gone to liquidation and left debts like this. But I would say, Mr Speaker, it is a tough job to make significant changes in this area and actually not put a lot of regulation around it. And I think the Minister's done a really good job with the committee in trying to have quicker adjudication of issues and to deal with some of those most outstanding of the issues. Um, it's always going to be difficult in building. There's never quite enough money for what people want. There's far too much time is spent. It's very expensive. It's a difficult game, and certainly any developer will say to you, Mr Speaker, over the years, if you really have been a developer, you're probably bankrupted at least, you've been bankrupt at least once. That is what happens. It's the nature of it, but we can do things to improve the situation, particularly for the subcontractors, um, the tradespeople who have no other mechanism of getting paid, and this is the good bill that we should all be supporting.